Hi everyone, Fiona Pierman and Kate Bora joining you for this week's Facebook Live. And we've been digging into the myths of confidence. And today we really want to unpack the one that is all about confidence being seen as a destination. I've got to get somewhere. I've got to reach somewhere. It's like a mythical place that if I just got there, I would finally feel and be able to be confident. And what we know is this is just far from the truth. Yeah, I think um, the opportunities to start to think about the beliefs, assumptions, uh, the formula, I like to call it. What's your confidence formula? Um, that I'll be confident when all of these things are present. Of course, um, when you are relying on a formula or a fixed uh, version of your world to equal confidence, um, inherently that's problematic, right? Particularly in the world we live in um, where there is so much change, there is very little uncertainty, and it is highly likely that at any point in time something that might, might be present might disappear um, or something you know to be true might change by virtue of new bits of data or information. Um, and so when we actually start to think about confidence as an ongoing journey, often it's it's in context of um, a scenario or a situation or even better, confidence is within me. Um, it's the premise of the book called Confidence that actually uh, we all have the confidence um, inside of us. It's just that we've got strategies where we give our confidence away and the work we do um, both in core confidence but equally in the Acts of Confidence program is starting to help um, people, number one, understand more about their relationship with confidence, understand and spotlight that formula um, that is often beneath the surface. We're not, we, most of us don't have good conscious awareness of what that is. Um, and then equally starting to think about what are the strategies where I give my confidence away, where perhaps maybe I compare myself to someone else and immediately my confidence goes from here to here. I think a big piece of this is really starting to dig into and understand yourself and understand the places and the ways in which perhaps your default belief is, I have to do something in order to have this. I have to get someone, I have to be somewhere. Because once we debunk this myth, once we break through this myth and we start to see and understand that confidence is this inner resource. Confidence is actually something I cultivate within me. Sometimes we call it the inner game. It's this piece about I am going to find within me a true or what we call core confidence that means that it doesn't matter what happens outside of me. There will be all sorts of wild cards, strange situations, um, stakeholders I hadn't expected, questions I hadn't anticipated. There will be forever things that will throw us off kilter and make us feel, feel potentially as though we've lost our confidence. But if we have this internal resource, if we have this thing within us, we know that no matter what happens out there, we're going to be okay and we can navigate through it and we can find a way to deal with it and to show up as resourced and powerful um, as we need to be to meet that dynamic, to meet that difficult situation. And I think why this is so powerful and why it's really important that we start to debunk this one um, is we invest a lot of time, energy, resource in trying to achieve that confidence to try and arrive at that destination, whether that's, um, you know, qualifications, investing time uh, in getting uh, more subject matter expertise or uh, delivering more outcomes, ticking more boxes, all those sorts of things. We invest, quite frankly, too much time um, in doing that. And so when we can really understand this, not just up here in our brain, but actually in our body. And that's why taking small acts of confidence, which is a critical part of the design um, and why um, the acts of confidence program is so transformational for people personally and professionally, because when we start to challenge some of those beliefs that are deeply wired in, that have been part of our success strategies for decades now, when we start to challenge that and we get the feedback, the evidence that actually I do have this, this confidence is within me, I am resourced, then that's when we can start to make different decisions and take different actions and ultimately um, achieve a completely different life and workplace experience than perhaps maybe the one you do today. Team, um, we want you to learn more about this, to dig in deeper. Um, we've got a whole stack of Facebook Live videos here and on our YouTube channel. We invite you to come across to coreconfidence.com.au um, if you would like to deepen and better understand your relationship with confidence.